Wow, yeah. Uh -oh. you just rolled your hand there. You got it. And let me know if you have any pain. And if you have any type of an electrical shock, like electricity, let me know. I'm not concerned about that so much. Like up until okay, I'm feeling a little tingle there. Just the sharp edge. But, uh, and, a, and, a, and a tingle would be something that shoots up the finger. Nothing like that. Electricity. Hear that grinding? That's yeah. the stuff. So that little sound that you hear. Yeah, that's the... That's the uh, fascia. That's the dip trans. Wow. And you know you're not in, in flexor tendon because if you move this finger, if that f needle moves, you're, you're in the NSA, and you know you're way above it. And you're, you're pretty safe down here. With the finger, you've got to be a little bit more careful. And sometimes people, the bleeding is, this micro bleeding is a big deal. Okay. That's usually little, little venials in the, in the palm surface. There's electrical shocking across the um, knuckle. Okay, okay. Good to know. There's a recurrent nerve right there. Let's go right there. So. And when you have an electrical shock, it doesn't necessarily mean that you've cut or piffed the nerve. It means you got close to it. Before. Yeah, not an not issue. Yeah. But we want to know. And then, then I can switch my angle. Yeah, you got it. You got it. He's doing good. I just. Not yet. Your money shot is up in here. That's where you usually get your release. But if you get it back in the hand, that's great, you know. So if you're getting those releases back there, it, it makes it much easier. So we're doing good. Yeah, we're doing Yay. good. Far please, out. Please. It gives you more uh, skin and it gives you more fascia to work with if you get the release back here in the palm. And so, and that's what, and that, and that's, what that's a good sign. So. Yeah, I, um, Bonnie and I have been taking. What's that medicine? Bottle? Glucosamine. Glucosamine for like um, maybe 12 years now. I think it made my hand worse. You know, I'm, you know there's there's been some uh, indications in the literature. You might not feel this, but let me know if that hurts. You know, hurt? Nothing. Oh, right. There's been some stuff in the literature that shows that, that there might be some. It might uh, stimulate uh, the uh, fascial growth. That's terrible. So I tell people, unless they absolutely need it, don't do it. It's in dog food. And they just had a big article in the state there ago that just came out. That's good, right there. Mm, wow. So they had a big article in the Idaho Statesman about glucosamine and how it's a worthless drug. Worthless? <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything at all for arthritis. That's what they say anyway. You said they put it in dog food? They put it in dog food. Oh yeah, food. they do. Uh, it's oh in dog yes. Food. To it to your poor old dog. That's one of our biggest fingernails, isn't it? That is huge, yes. All right. <laughs> 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 You know, we bought a new car recently, and people looked at it, and they said, it's an SUV, and they said, it's cute, and that's not quite what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Manly. Yeah, so, so 
it is good to know that I've got a big node here. <laughs> what, what kind of SUV did you get? It's a Saturn view. Oh. When you want, who wants some of the big honking SUVs and glasses? Too expensive. <laughs> yes, Driving they are. Especially in the city. Yeah. We're trying not to contribute too much to the <laughs> pollution problem, the air pollution. This is why I'm thinking that I might have to uh, do this in stages. We'll see. I want to go down here and get this, this ripple out. Mm -hmm. And if you want me to take a 30 minute break and go for lunch or something. No, no, that's, that's <laughs> not the that's not the, that's not the point. It's, uh, this note is enormous. Right, okay, I'm hearing You've got a cord under there that's bending this finger, okay? Yes. And I released a lot of it, but I don't know where it is, and I, and I don't want to go mucking around in flexor tendon, because if you fle get a flexor tendon, that's, that's a disaster. You know, that's, that's going to be great. And I might just put you in a splint, too, because that I can get your, your, your PIP is already out when I push it. And what happens with this joint right here is that it's been living like this for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so you have caps for ligaments that are around the joint. Right. That learn how to live like that. And they like it like that. Mm -hmm. So you have to do a little bit of yoga on your hand. We're going to have to get this straddle with a splint, yep. a nighttime splint. But I think I'm going to stop here. Because I am going to stop. <laughs> you think I'm crazy. But I think that we're out. That this thing is locked out. Okay? So I got your joint out. Wow. Okay. But it's caps for ligaments that's bringing it down. And you don't have enough extension power to really get that out there. So. We're going to nighttime splint it. We're going to nighttime We're going to go it. after this other one here. We're going to have to I'm going to put some steroid in this nose. It's going to shrink it substantially. Good. And if we see a cord appear six months from now, three months from now, and if this is starting to bend again, or we don't have it quite out completely with the splint, you come back and see me. Okay. This is much better to do than get your flexor tendon. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Don't